Hundreds of pro-unity Ukrainians burned the Russian flag at the site of bloody clashes two days ago. Forty Ukrainians, mostly pro-Russian separatists, died trapped in a fire at the building they'd occupied. The protesters observed a minute of silence to remember the dead. Ukrainian troops are carrying out operations in the east to regain control of government buildings from pro-Moscow separatists. But Ukraine's acting president, Oleksandr Turchinov, insists Kiev has not lost control entirely and that Moscow's supporters had met resistance in the Black Sea as residents like these were prepared to protect their city. The Russian Federation is at war with Ukraine, both on the east and south. They are trying to destabilize the situation completely. And if they managed in the east, let us be straight. When it comes to the Odessa region, and this is one of Russian's Federation's main targets, as well as the Kharkiv region, that is where they have felt the real resistance. Turchinov and other leaders criticized the Odessa police force for freeing nearly 70 pro-Russian activists arrested over Friday's clashes. The police chief was sacked and Ivan Katerinchuk was appointed in his place. Those who broke the law and committed crimes will be prosecuted. I urge you, please remain calm and give the opportunity to do this. Here at Odessa Square, activists hoist the Ukrainian flag singing their national anthem. They've reclaimed the square for now, but the violence over the past few days has been the first serious disorder away from the Russian border emphasizing the country's deep divisions extend far beyond the West.